And hello everyone, Peter here once again with another video for you. Today we're going to be looking at how to draw a photorealistic portrait. I'm going to be doing a self-portrait, but you can do, use this for any kind of portrait really. The first thing you want to do is find a photo to use as a reference. Um, go ahead and find a fairly flattering one. It's fine where you can see your striking jawline, your glimmering fillings, your collarbones, and maybe a rib cage if you have one. It doesn't matter. Uh, whatever features you find attractive. Um, you know, uh, but the, the main key here is that you figure out how to print it out um, onto a piece of paper. And I really do recommend using a printer. It's 2016. A lot of people have access to printers. And uh, this really, I mean, I've noticed that a lot of artists these days um, are doing this part by hand. They, uh, they use pencils, pens, ballpoint pens, and um, it takes them forever to get their photorealistic portrait onto a piece of paper. Um, but it's really quite less labor intensive to just use the printer. And then um, there you have it, it's pretty cool. So print that sucker out. And then you can do the fun part. You can draw the rest of your portrait, kind of add it to it as it were. Um, the rest of it that couldn't be captured by the camera, that isn't in the photo. Um, and you can add literally anything. I kind of added like some weird kind of weird gooey insides -y stuff, but you can add everything or nothing or a banana for all I care. Like the rest is literally up to you. Um, it's your world. It's your, it's your portrait. Um, just go nuts with it. Um, it's pretty cool. I drank you know, like a little side story here. I drank some coffee while I was doing this cause it was a little bit later at night and I, uh, I feel like caffeine as I, like each year I grow older, caffeine affects me a little bit differently. I'm not old or anything, but after I drank this caffeine, it was a little bit, it was like nine o'clock or midnight or something, which was a serious mistake. It used to be though, that I could just drink caffeine and it made me feel good. And, uh, and then I could still go right to sleep. This time, however, I stayed up until like 6 a.m. And I felt like I was going crazy because I couldn't go to bed and I didn't know what to do with myself because I wanted to go to bed and just start the next day you know, but I couldn't, and it messed up, anyway, anyways, so, um, but I'm glad I got this drawn, and, uh, yeah, so, yeah, photorealistic portrait, but the key is to use the printer, I think, to do the photorealistic part, so you don't have to get bogged, and it's, it really is more true to life if you use a printer than if you get bogged down in trying to use a pen or a pencil to make it perfect, because then you can make mistakes, which, whew, wouldn't have to be you wouldn't want to be stuck making mistakes when you have a certain goal in mind like that but when you're doing the part of the drawing where you know it can be literally anything you cannot make a mistake because it can be anything even if you made what you think is a mistake it's not a mistake because you know it's like yeah i don't know how to explain it but you can't mess up if there's no goal you know like you can't lose if you're not in a race is what i'm saying I'm I'm pretty good at terrible metaphors that I thought sounded good in my head, but then they end up sounding not quite as good. Anyways, um, I used Staedtler pigment liners for this, um, but you can use literally any pens. Like you could use a you know like a sharpened sharpened stick dipped in ink or just scrape it on some. I don't know. You don't don't get bogged down in what pens you use, but. Uh, Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or anything at all. Bye.